Hello, this is episode 4 of Look and Learn on AD4 TV Radio. I am the Grammar Queen. The word for today is kefuffle, spelled K-E-R-F-U-F-F-L-E. And kefuffle means a fuss or a squabble arising from dissenting views. Another word for kefuffle is quarrel, bruhaha or altercation. Today, we'll be focusing on idiomatic expressions. Idioms are figurative expressions that do not derive their meanings from the individual words that make them up. For instance, if you tell me you're going for a swim and I say, break a leg, I don't mean that your legs should literally break. No, it means I'm saying you should have fun. That's how idioms work. So let, let's look at some idioms. Elvis has left the building. This means it is all over or that the show has ended. Elvis was once the biggest pop icon in the world. His shows were always, always sold out and were huge successes. Being the king of rock, as soon as his show was over and he left, there was nothing more to say or do. So if I tell you Elvis has left the building, it means it's all over. To steal one's thunder means to take credit for something someone else did. So if, for instance, you're on a project team and everyone knows you did more than 70% of the work, only for some other team member to show up and take credit for the whole work, that person has stolen your thunder. Not playing with a full deck is an idiomatic expression used to refer to someone who displays a lack of intelligence. For example, I can say, he looks like he's not playing with a full deck, but trust me when I say it is all a front. He's actually very intelligent. To vote with one's feet means to leave. During the board meeting, tempers were so high that members of the dissenting faction all voted with their feet, means they left. So if you say you voted with your feet, it means you left. A fifth columnist is a defector someone or a group of people who engage in acts that are detrimental to the group that they belong to. In the Nigerian parlance, they are referred to as sabo. Cloak and dagger means to be secretive about an issue. Being cloak and dagger means being characterized by mystery or intrigue. In a sentence, we can say, why is she all cloak and dagger about this project? We all know about the intricacies of it, so what's with her attitude? Now that's all we can take on this edition. I will see you in the next episode. And until then, remember to speak right and write right. Bye.